Just, just, just in case your meal doesn't turn out. <laughs> Good morning. I'm not doing my normal intro today because it was dark out when I left. It's uh, about 5.30, 5.40 in the morning. And uh, it's Saturday the 23rd of March. And it's about 9 degrees outside. We got snow yesterday. We're supposed to get 8 to 12 inches tomorrow and Monday. We'll see. So my friend Deb has her first solo auction today. It's an outdoor live sale on site. Looks like there's some really good stuff there. And uh, I'm on my way to show my support and hopefully get some goodies. So tag along if you like and uh, check out some of the cool stuff that she found at this place. Hi. Say hi, boss. <laughs> I'm going to make you a star. <laughs> also, that's a moth collection. I heard there was really a lot of that here. Uh, really some outstanding curio cabinets. That That's all hand-tooled leather. Looks like it's probably maybe made Mexico. Really cool. That's not jaded. That looks like green marble. Definitely like a Victorian era. Really some nice curio cabinets. I have a very similar table here that I did a video on refinishing it. Sorry, my breath is getting in the way. It's so cold out. Those ships are amazing. I love that globe. Oh, wow, those are in good shape. That lantern and that cooler. Oh, look at those TVs back there. That's a book stand. Looks like one of the feet are messed up. A lot of old brass floor lamps and turned plant stands there. Sorry, you know, sorry. Wood. There's just a lot of stuff. Look at all that. There's a lot of really there's a lot of really good antique pieces in here. There's a lot of regular day use pieces, but if you look, there's a lot of antiques mixed in it all. There's an old sconce back there. <coughs> yeah, who knows what's underneath all that stuff. Trailer number two. Those are some cool old glass lamps. A wooden Bob Marley. You don't see that every day. A lot of die cast cars. Oh, that's a tin toy there. That's pretty good. Yeah, what about these things? I'll try to get that. Do you want to do what these stuff? Oh, lamp. Yeah, there's some old cigars. I wonder if they're Cubans. Okay. Sure, they're no good by now. What's down there? Oh, that's cool. Wow. We just don't see stuff like that everywhere. There's quite a collection here. A lot of carvings. A bunch of ceramic masks. Old Mercedes grill. Antique animal trap there. Old planes. Huh. Those are nice.
cool little radio. Oh man, I love that copper oh, that's lady. Man. What about Brock? Nice Pepsi crate there. Well, the feeder broke off. It's too bad. Look at all the signs. Pretty cool. The burger wagon. Yay. Oh, there's a lot of stuff. There's really a lot of stuff. What time does this start? We're going to be here all day and night. There's stuff on the ground. There's stuff inside. This is an estate sale. Uh, a fellow passed away and his niece is took charge of the estate and she has been working her tail off here and so we appreciate her and uh, thank you all for coming everything is sold as is whereas no warranties or guarantees um, and let's start hi how are you I'm glad you're here all right we're gonna start with a choice on the table here starting with a choice from here to here We'll start me out at 10 on it. Anybody 10, 10, 10, anybody 10? How about a five? Anybody five, 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 anybody five? Would have been a five, would have been a five, anybody five, would have been a five? Antique clock, boys. Soldier weighing two and a half, number 100. From Schofield, Wisconsin. We'll start me out at 10 on it. Anybody 10, 10, 10, anybody 10, 10, 10, Give it to my wife. How about five? Anybody five, five, five? Anybody five, five, five? Yeah. Five, thank you. Now seven and a half, anybody seven and a half, seven and a half, now 10. Yeah. 10, now 12 and a half, half, anybody 12 and a half, half, anybody 12 and a half, 12 and a half? Sold your weight, $10, number 10. Yep. All right, who'll start me out at 10 on them? Any, anybody 10, 10, 10, anybody 10, anybody 10, anybody 10? Thank you. Are you with? Yes. 10, no, 12 and a half. Anybody 12 and a half, half, anybody 12 and a half, half, anybody 12 and a half on the games? Anybody 12 and a half, sold your weight, $10, number 7. All right, Ooh. on the Winchester clock. You can put those. Yeah. On the Winchester clock, we'll start me out at five on it. Anybody five, 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 anybody five, anybody five, 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 anybody five, anybody five, anybody five, anybody five? How about two and a half? Thank you, two and a half, I got two and a half there, now three. Mr. Grundy, three? Three, now four, four, now five. Five, now six, 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 now seven, 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 eight, and seven, now eight, 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 anybody eight, eight, now nine, 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 now ten, 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 now twelve and a half. Anybody, twelve and a half, now fifteen. Anybody fifteen, fifteen, now seventeen and a half. Anybody seventeen and a half? Seventeen and a half? Sold. Fifteen dollars, number one hundred. Uh, All right, what's cooking? Novels and cowbells. All right, <laughs> hey, I just just, half, just, half, just in case your meal doesn't out. turn out. Missed opportunity. A dollar, dollar. Dana, you should buy that. We can use that at work. A dollar. Anybody a dollar, dollar, dollar. Anybody a dollar? Sold. Price is going down on that. Throw something with it. Oh my. Throw something with that. You guys are messed up. Let's go. See, I would buy that. Four candles and the candles. I'd wake up in the morning and it would be on my bedside table staring at me. Anybody a dollar? Anybody a dollar? 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 I got a dollar now. That's perfect. Anybody two sold your way with? So, 27 and a half, number 10. A couple battery chargers and a fan. All right, on the battery chargers and the fan, who'll start me out at five on it? Anybody five? 
I got 20 over here now, 22 and a half. Anybody? 22 and a half, 25. 27 and a half, half, 27 and a half, now 30. 30 now, 32 and a half. Anybody? 32 and a half, now 35. I got 35 here now, 37 and a half, half. Anybody? 37 and a half, 37 and a half, now 40. I got 30, 40 here now, 42 and a half. 42 and a half, now 50. I mean 45, sorry. 45 now, 47 and a half. Anybody? 47 and a half, half. Anybody? You're out. 47 and a half. Data, 47 and a half. Sold your way. $45, number 33. All right. Let's check out all the cool stuff that I got. I'm going to do this lamp right away because I don't want it to get knocked over. But, uh, yeah, there's oil lamps. But I like the fact that this is colored glass, a really long chimney, single wick. This is an unusual piece. This is... Dated 1968, and it's a, maybe I should get close. It's a drawing on a vellum, which is in understandably rough condition. And vellums are used for architectural purposes a lot. Yeah, and it's signed and dated. But um, the detail work, and it, it looks to me like it's all done with ballpoint pen. And I just had to have it. These are spreader rings used on farms. And there's quite a few sets in here. These are celluloid rings from back in the day. And they'd run their reins all through there. Equestrian stuff is such good inventory. I think it will be till the end of time. There's another weird one. I don't know. I don't know if you can see how thick that glass is. I measured it, it's three eighths. And it's got this uh, gold embossed kind of filigree look going around the, the border of the picture. And it's Stevie Ray Vaughan, the guitar player in there. And being a big fan of guitars and music, I had to make it mine. Really old Parker pen pencil set. I haven't looked it up yet. I have no idea the, of the vintage of it. But these are sought after. I always do well with these. This is a RCA Victor tabletop radio from 1949. No cracks. Knobs are all there. The back is intact. Tag all of it. I haven't plugged it in yet, but the cord looks pretty good. I have high hopes. This is a Sessions mantle clock. It all appears to be there. The wood is gorgeous. Lovely brass bezel on there. I'm always... Clocks, radios, artwork. I'm a junkie, what can I say? Speaking of which, this is a... 31 day clock. I know it sounds like a bucket of bolts in there, but you know, it's the pendulum and the key rattling around in there. You always pull that off for transport purposes. A couple keys. I haven't tried it yet, but even if it doesn't go, even if it doesn't run now, I have a pretty good history of making these things work. So I think it's going to be okay one way or another. And it should really clean up good. This is just a little trinket in there, but this is pretty old. And back in the day, this is a travel mirror, especially like if you were, even for cowboys on the trail. It's just flip up, hang it on a limb, hang it wherever. And uh, real heavy bevel glass. It's a nickel bezel on there. Kind of cool. Uh, I already have one of these, and I sold one not all that long ago. It's the Winchester clock. It's got everything you need to know on the back. And uh, these guys are even nice enough to send a screw on with it. 
Um, not super expensive, but they sell for about a hundred bucks online. I'm not sure if this is my favorite piece, but it's right up there. It's an old gold metal sign. Not a coffin, a carload. These are from the 1930s. It's really banged up. See how? No, there goes the furnace again. I should have shut that off. Got twisted and banged up this thing is. But it's all there. That's what you get when things turn 90 years old that nobody was expecting to save over time. Wacky and unusual. It's got a couple of nails that need to be tapped back in just from rough handling. And the truck was so full. I had so much stuff in the truck. That's all hand carved. It's pretty cool. And uh, I don't know if you can make that out or not, but probably not. But uh, it's signed and dated down here by the artist. Anything hand carved, anything made out of wood. Player. Then I got this antique uh, finger joint wood Remington 12 gauge shell box. And that's a favorite online. This thing's so great. People love crates. Antique floor lamp. It's been painted. I don't love the paint color, but I really love the glow. And these are kind of hard to find. I have other floor lamps I can put that on if I want, if I don't feel like stripping this one down and, and making it better. But uh, it is what it is, it wasn't a lot of money. This is really old. This is, you would have bolted this to your wall. It, it's pretty rusty, so it's hard to pivot. I would need to put some oil on there, but you know, it's a, it's a wall sconce. And I was told this is for whale fat. Put whale fat in there, and this is a reflector. It's pretty much a relic at this point. I can't find a maker's mark on it anywhere. It has this spring-loaded adjuster so you could angle the reflector in different directions. And then, of course, it would pivot against the wall for storage and out in the middle of the room to get it safely away from the walls and set the walls on fire. Pretty archaic. But, uh, I've never seen one quite like this before. So, I got this uh, mid-century sewing box slash stand. It's got the, kind of the atomic legs on it. They make smaller versions, which I also have here in inventory. But uh, those are pretty popular. And the only reason I got something this big, these, these legs unscrew, so I can ship it. And this is kind of a cool woven wood floor basket. No great shakes, but it was included in the lot. This thermos here is just in killer condition. The, uh, that's just out of the barn. I mean, the paint is super strong on it. Revelation. a ton of bicycle license plates. Some of them are kind of old. Well, not super old. 1956, 1958, pretty old. 60, 62, 66, 66. I think the 50s ones are the oldest, maybe. There's some here without dates on them. I don't know if that makes them really super old. Yeah, 70s right up through the 80s. That's a that's a really early uh, that's a really early number. 63, 64, 80, 80. Yeah, so that was a pretty good pile, and I counted them at 25 of them. Okay, uh, I know this sounds crazy. I do great with this kind of stuff online. This kind of stuff is amazingly popular. And of course, you saw the auction. It took place outside of a horse barn. Well, actually, the very end of it was in the horse barn. 
so there's a lot of equestrian themed things that were, you know, at this set. So to me, that's a home run. I don't see a, a maker's mark on it anywhere. I'll do a little research to see who made those. A hook, primitive. And this is just a real early toaster. will burn your house down if you left, but they actually work really well. Uh, and I thought the, uh, I thought the condition one was great. So this is a, I mean, you can see it's a carving. It's got a bent nail that, hang it on a nail, another nail, I suppose. It's cracked here, but the pieces here broke off, but it's clean break. We'll drop a wood glue, boom. It's Bob Marley, man. These things sell great. Really good sellers. Sorry about the Bob Marley, man thing. Um, yeah, just more duck stuff. Duck stuff sells. It's a real old fixture. Oh, well, that thing is all brass. Pretty crazy. Um, this is one of my favorite purchases in deck. Look how complete it is. Even with the original silk, Singer oil, all the attachments, the books, all of it. It's just unbelievably complete, the whole thing. And if I'm not mistaken, I think when I looked up this particular model, let me, let me flip it around. When I looked up this particular model, I think it was 1937. Is that cool? And look at it. I mean, it's just, it's in mint condition. It's just perfect. It's amazing. I thought, wow, what a cool find. I don't buy a lot of beer memorabilia, that sort of thing. But this was weird. I mean, People's is not a very known brand. And the box is in amazing condition, and it's it's completely full of empties. Every slot is taken. All the labels are good. And I know if you sell the bottles on eBay, they're ten bucks a piece, but there's a full case here. It's twenty four bottles, and the case itself is so I don't know. Display sell. Psst, I can't get hurt on it. This is another crazy thing I saw, and. and I don't know why I bought it, other than that, just such the cool factor on it. This is, if you actually get closer, it's a Bissell floor sweeper, but it's all wood. <laughs> I mean, you know your floor sweeper is over, older when it's got external belts on it, which are broken, of course, and the body is all wood. Crazy is that? I love crates. Um, I just sold some crates the other day. Reason I like this one, it's local, it's Wausau. And uh, I guess it'll go up here now. What's the date on it? 12 of 1958. I also got this other easel over here. And this cool old portrait and uh, picture. Kind of love this old frame, needs a little bit of help, but I have an idea how to do that. I might do a video on that this summer on how I fix this stuff. This gesso has a tendency to pop when it gets old. It's not that hard to, and I take, it's time consuming, but it's not difficult. But I might do a video on how to fix it. And uh, this box, I haven't gone through yet. And the reason I bought it, I bought it for one thing, and one thing, there's so much stuff in here. I don't even know what all this stuff is. This is why I bought it. I haven't looked it up yet. That's a really old Shure mic. Cord's nice. The plug is in great shape. It's, it's really, really in good condition. I didn't mention this either. This, uh, this is a number 21 of 100 of these signed Bighorn prints um, frame. 
I didn't pay a lot for it. Um, this wildlife stuff is, I'll just leave it there. These, I thought these were amazing finds, these mid-century modern TV sets. I have no notion of whether or not they work. Um, this one looks pretty original. It looks like the top here has been, the paint's been touched up. But, uh, what it has that atomic age look to it. And this is just a lower rent version of that. By the way, this is, uh, this is an RCA Victor Deluxe. I don't know if you can see that where it says RCA. It's, in, it's actually in behind the glass. And I think this one is a, this one's an Admiral. Just a couple of real old, good, solid, really cool ceiling shades. They match. Although, the color is slightly different. Is that cool? And this is all embossed. So it's kind of neat, you know, this is going to have the light just coming through as, you know, naturally through the light bulb, but this whole part is pigmented. And one more. And they're all different, but they're all the same. Kind of like us. Anyway, I thought those were super cool and unusual to find. These are likely 30s, 40s. I got a couple flats of these, uh, these masks. And these aren't like super rare or anything, but they're, they're undeniably detailed and pretty. And they're, uh, they're ceramic. I love. The frame is cool too, and the frame could be the frame could be fixed. But this is I don't know if this is oil I'm leaning to more toward acrylic. It strikes me as acrylic. It might, it might just be because it's got glass over it, which most paintings don't have glass over it. So maybe it's just an oil and the glass is making it look shinier, more reflective than an, than an oil would normally be. And this is a print, I'm pretty sure, of a watercolor. But again, the frame on this one is in really good shape. Again, I would probably put that 1930s, 1940s. And I, I just, I, like the, the one with the girl in it, I probably bought that more for the, the frame, but I did get some killer frames. These are really old. They're barely holding together. I got to do something about the joints to give them some, some strength. But uh, I get 50 to 75 bucks for one of these old frames like this. And it's just in killer shape. Just needs a little strengthening up. Same with this, the, uh, the embroidery in this one wasn't real impressive, but the frame is super impressive. And this just looks like something dripped on it. So I'm gonna see how that cleans up. The, the gesso's popped here a little bit, but with some, uh, and over on the side, but with some joint compound, you'd be surprised how you can fix that up. Ancient for sure, no question. I got this cool old bed frame. Steel, back in the day. And uh, it's all complete, even the slats. Um, this is being used when the house was bought. And uh, I don't know if you've ever put one of these together before, but the rails on this thing have these molded steel dowels in there and they're tapered and when you 
when you drop them into the headboard and tailboard. They just get tighter and tighter as you knock them in because they're tapered. And now you just drop your slats across it. You can get eaten in one of these. When I was a kid up by our farm up in northern Wisconsin, these weren't put in all the way. <laughs> and I'm laying in bed, and it kind of made a weird quiver. And the headboard folded on me, and the tailboard board folded on me, and it was like a giant human mousetrap. And it hurt. That big knot on my head. <laughs> I thought I broke one of my toes from when the headboard came across. And uh, about 10 years ago or so, the place got hit by lightning and burned. And uh, those same headboards lived through the fire, but they were, they were all twisted and really kind of grotesquely bent from the heat. And uh, we pulled them out of the out of the rubble from the fire. And uh, now it lives as a, as a trellis out in the, the edge of the woods where the flowers grow on it. These boats, I can't believe nobody wanted to bid on these. And uh, I bought the pair of them for $5, which is obscene. I would have paid way more. Um, the sailboat's pretty much ready to go. There's some string rigging's that are unhooked, and it might have been just from the ride in the car or being handled by the auction. Um, no big deal. Just uh, reconnect them. I haven't had a chance, chance to do anything. I got unloaded last night in the dark, and it's morning time. I'm stuck in a, our first blizzard of the year here, which is at the end of March, which is just insane. But um, so this one, this one's pretty much ready to go. This one is much more extravagant. Here, let me take the camera. Out. So you can see the intensity of the detail on this thing. And it's wood. It's carved out of a great big block of wood. And I would say it's 30 inches long, maybe. But it's just rigging stuff. Physically, it's not damaged anywhere. It's just rigging. It's just laying everywhere. Which is not... Uh, it's time-consuming, but it's not the end of the world. This ship I got last year, and um, my uncle had it in his shop, and his father-in-law made it in the 1930s. I haven't done a thing to it, and it's literally going to be a year, I don't know, like a month. But uh, I haven't got to it yet. I want to fix the riggings on this and clean it and make it look really good again. It never had sails on it since... I got it. It's exactly like how I got it. But I brought it out here for uh, comparison's sake out of the back of the shop. So you can see scales. The size of them are, are very, very similar. Almost probably within an inch of one another. So uh, yeah, I got some old ships I got to I gotta get my ship together <laughs> and get these dealt with. All right, everybody. Uh, thanks so much for tagging along on this one. Appreciate you when you watch my videos. Uh, it was my friend Deb's first solo auction with her company, and she's worked in auctions for years, but it's the first one she did it bumper to bumper. And uh, man, it went off without a hitch. The weather was not great. Uh, and it still went off great. Had a good time. Got some good deals. And uh, you know, I wish her all the, all the luck in the world going forward. Um, we've got a another auction coming up in about 10 days. So look for that one. Thanks. See you in the next video.